Hello, welcome to the Land Timber Stream. We're going to have a little vlog today about where I'm at. And just want to give everyone an update. Just introduce also new checklists that I've developed that may or may not be useful to someone else. Uh, this background, by the way, the wallpaper of the day, this is the new Smyrna Beach in uh, Florida on the Atlantic coast. Uh, pretty cool place. Um, yeah, if you ever come visit and you're a router person and on this channel, let me know. You know, um, a lot of people come to visit, and that's why I'm not studying much today because I'm playing tour guide. But anyway, great beach. You can drive on the beach, and it's pretty awesome. Not too touristy, etc. But anyway, the um, here's a chat window, and here is the agenda for this particular. This is just a vlog today, guys. No labbing. As I mentioned before, the count is on for the written exam, so I have backed off of labbing uh, at least for a little while. Uh, you know, again, my plan was to complete the entire INE workbook, then prepare an earnest for the written exam and cover those topics separately. But I did not know at the time that I would have an opportunity to go to Cisco Live. So that has changed up the schedule. And so I've had to make a shift back to where I would be, uh, assuming that I had finished all the labs that I can. And now we're going through the blueprint. I went through some of the Blueprint resources. There were some folks who had posted version 5.0 uh, spreadsheets. But I thought, man, okay, so I have this new shift in Paradigm, and I have a new countdown, 129 days. What is my approach? What is my plan? Always have a plan, right? Don't just dive in, but you have to develop a solid plan going forward to best utilize the time you have. So my idea was... Well, let me grab the blueprint, put it in a worksheet, a spreadsheet, analyze it, and, you know, go from there. Um, the last couple of days I've been looking, and someone did do the V5.0. They had a nice little Google Docs uh, out of Google Drive there. They already had a nice spreadsheet set up with, you know, uh, evaluation list, et cetera, all ready to go. I was like, ah, I really need to take the time to make my own. I could not find one for version 5.1. So I made my own, of course, and I talked about doing this, but uh, there's a link to it uh, posted down below. And if you go into the Google Drive link, which is, uh, of course, you can always ask me on Discord for it, but it's uh, linked here, the Google Drive. So you have that link at any time. You can go to the channel and see where that is. And if you come down to, this was a lot, I renamed this. This was the work checklist. I renamed that just to be lab topic. And, you know, that's, that's where I had this, the, all the INE workbook labs and percent done, total remaining. And I would check those off as I went. This is my practice um, area. And this is the date, projected date finished, which continues to move out, understandably so. Um, and I created a new checklist. And this is the written topic checklist. It's just what I named it. Uh, there's a link uh, below directly to it. And as you can see, I took all the V5.1 uh, blueprint topics, pasted them in here one by one, well, one section by section. It wasn't an easy way to do this, but there's always a way to do it. And then I went through and ranked everything. So I'm like, I need to do an inventory first and really work off of this blueprint for my final evaluation and and work plan right and self-assessment work plan etc this needs to be the basis going forward because i'm going to have to use different re, uh, source materials with the INE workbook you know it's pretty easy to follow you just one do one until you're good at it and then do the next one study whatever material you need as you go along whether that be INE videos whether that be plural site videos whether that be safari books um, Cisco Docs, etc. cetera. Uh, with this, it's kind of the same, but uh, instead of INE developing the list, and in fact, they have posted their own revised blueprint and what they feel is a more, um, I don't know, uh, a more strategic way. But I don't know, I just felt the need, uh, and I think that's great if that's what you want to go by, and I, I know others who that's what they're going by to prepare for the written. 
is they're going strictly by the I and E blueprint topic checklist. And, and that's great. I'm not knocking it. I'm not saying it's worse. I just felt, you know, uh, some of my family call me anal retentive. Well, I felt like I needed to go by the Cisco blueprint and just, you know, write it all out and do my own self-assessment here. So that's what I'm going by. And in the I and E blueprint, um, there are arguments that it is a more structured, it's a more logical order in some areas. Um, and I watched a few videos. There's a few introductory videos. If you have access to INE videos, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. But they have a couple of introductory, and I don't think I have them to show you directly, but just check them out. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to show that on the screen. There is a checklist that they have, but they kind of... Uh, Brian McGann kind of does uh, a once over of the the blueprint itself, the revised 5.1 blueprint. He compares it to 5.0, and he talks about how INE material is going to approach that, and that's great. But I felt like there were still some gaps, and or there are other areas where there may be some resources that could be more efficient. And specifically, I'm referring to you notice the source column here. I'm referring to like Nick Russo's Evolving Technologies Guide. And I think I've posted that below. If not, search Nick Russo Evolving Technologies. It's out on Cisco Learning Network. And everyone raves about it and says, you definitely need to use this to study for the Evolving Technologies. So basically what I did is I went through and inventoried each topic, A, B, or C. Let me just put it this way. I did not feel confident putting A on very many of these. There are a few A's, but not many. Essentially, they were all B's and C's, where C is like, I have I have not covered this at all, or I have no confidence at all. And there are a lot of C's, I'm going to be honest. I have a lot of work ahead of me. But it was not uh, totally discouraging. As a matter of fact, as I've gone through here, I'm thinking, okay, there's still some things that I don't know about that are on here. But no, everything I went through, I was like, okay, yeah, I recognize this. I knew this was on here. There are no surprises on what's on the blueprint. So, you know, four months out, that's good. And uh, some other initial reactions from doing this inventory. As you can see, they're all marked. N means they're just general categories and not uh, a specific study topic in and of itself. But... As you can see, and as I was going through here, another uh, sort of first reaction is that a lot of this I'm going to be able to cover in pretty much large chunks. Yes, there are over 400. Um, how many topics are there? 440 individual topics on the blueprint, okay, which is a lot. But a lot of them are really broken down into just parts, small parts of big chunks. And so... Uh, that's good. So what I've done is I have a certain chunk right here, like Evolving Technologies, pretty much all C's, a few B's. I know that what I need to do is, uh, you know, I, I essentially identified a source of study material for that topic. So in this particular instance, I have Nick Russo's Evolving Technologies Guide. And when I'm ready to tackle this and change my C's to B's, that's the goal right now. Change all C's to B's and get all B's to A's before the exam. Not going to happen. I will get, I, I'm confident I'll get all C's to B's. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, and hopefully convert a few of those B's to A's. Um, that's my goal. And the way I'm going to do that is, like I said, uh, first run, I've got these chunks. I, I basically divided up all the C's into most bang for the buck, into focus areas. So I've got uh, what I need to work on most is IPv6 in, in general. Uh, addressing um, 6 to 4 translation, you know, uh, routing protocols, layer 2, etc. Not layer 2, but anyway. Uh, it, Path MTU, some things related to that. Uh, network optimization, which is, you know, QoS, multicast. And there's a lot of Bs in multicast because I've covered uh, about eight or nine labs in there. But um, there's still a lot that I haven't done yet. Source-specific multicast, uh, IPv6 multicast, etc. cetera. Um, that shouldn't take me too long. System management, 
ISIS and Evolving Technologies. And what I did is I put these in order that I think are most, you know, first thing I want to do is, uh, oh, let's go Evolving Technologies. I think that'll be the easiest. But really, in my mind, I caught myself saying, no, don't do that. Start with the most difficult or, and or the, the roughest slog and work your way down to what's going to be easier, which I think, you know, I'm working with cloud technologies now. Um, ISIS is not a large section, but it's very similar to OSPF. Uh, and I kind of want, that's what I want to do. I want to do ISIS and evolving. So that was my inclination. Oh, let's do this first. Low hanging fruit. I'm like, no. Structured approach is you really need to review some more of these fundamentals, then go down to this low hanging fruit more towards the end. So that's just sharing with you what, what my approach is. And so now I have a plan of attack. You know, when I first saw like 130 days, initial response, panic. Boom. Let's start studying right now. Um, but wisdom has taught me over the years uh, with these certifications that no, you know, calm down, get your plan together. Always have a good, solid plan. Follow the plan. Budget your time. Make the most of your time. Some of these topics, um, I may just write them off. You know, if I find that it's taking a lot of time and it's a very small number, uh, uh, sort of a small section in the overall mass of blueprint topics that I need to learn, I'll just let it go. And that's good practice for the lab, I think, itself. Um, so I've got these focus areas. I'm going to start on these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the source material first. I know I'm kind of branching off a little bit, but uh, uh, I'm trying to describe in somewhat of a logical um, set of data points here my, my attack plan, right, and what this checklist is. So we've, we've gone over the topics where I got those. We've gone over the self-evaluation, the grading. Um, and then there's kind of a first run, like I do with the labs, uh, a first run of source material that I review to try to learn or master these particular topics. I'm gonna to do those in chunks. And I'm gonna to try to, this is gonna be you know next, next month or two or three. And I'm gonna go over those in chunks and then try to get as many C's to B's as possible, okay? Then I'm gonna do review. And review is gonna be by means of, of two methods. Primary method, it's not listed here, but primary is the boson Exam. And I want to show you guys that. I know I've talked about uh, showing this to you on the screen before. I'm just going to give you a, a glimpse. I actually have a virtual machine. I had this installed on another computer. Uh, it requires Windows. And my, my Windows 7, my ancient VM I have running here on the Mac, um, was in bad shape. And I gave it some TLC uh, this weekend. Or, you know, yeah, this weekend so far and I got it running and I got boson running on here so I still have it on the other computer it's my main boson study computer but the boson I have to say is such a good um, evaluation tool I mean I can't say enough about it I mean even areas I thought I was strong and I've come back and marked as C's because boson has told me no you are not an A you are not a B you are a C you really need to review this again um, so I have some areas like that marked uh, as C, uh, like the metrics. Um, and areas I thought I was A, I'm in B. I know I'm B because of boson. But that's my primary means. Um, so I can get in and just kind of show this to you. Um, but that's my primary review method and self-evaluation refinement method. Secondary to that, if I still need to go in deep dive area, I noticed that the flashcards by Neckercube, who is uh, Jedediah Casey, linked below. If you have not checked those out yet, you definitely need to check those out. They are awesome material. I'm surprised he's giving them away for free. Uh, again, Jedediah, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. The community thanks you. We really appreciate what you've done there. It's, it's excellent work. And it's a great study tool. I hope that one day, you know, you take it to maybe when I know we talked about 6.0 comes out, maybe he'll revise it, review it, and then release it as some sort of, um, you know, paid material. And 
granted, if I'm still working on it by then, I will pay for it. Uh, I'm, I have no doubt. Um, anyway, this will also be another means to review, come back, reevaluate, and then finally determine this C can be a B or this B can be an A. And that is my approach, guys. I wrote a little countdown thing here. It's 129 days. goes off today's date. I think. Oh, it does not. I have to fix that formula. There's a formula here. Anyway, thanks, guys, uh, for tuning in. This is where I'm at. Happy labbing. Happy learning. Um, more vlogs coming every day for Land Tamer Stream. You can follow me on Discord. Link below. YouTube. Twitter. Instagram. And... We'll keep struggling together until we all get our number. All right. Have a great weekend, guys. We'll see you soon. I actually may vlog tomorrow. May may, probably will not vlog tomorrow due to um, tour guide festivities. But we'll back, be back on the grind Monday and back at it. Get all the good bits, guys.